good morning. Ooh. Come on, focus on my face. You got this. Hey, are you all right? Where are you from? Uh, Bristol. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I live there. Cool. I love Bristol. It's amazing, right? Yeah. There we go. Um, that was really sweet. She was lovely. So, hello and welcome to a Follow Me Friday. I know that used to be a lame is thing, but it wasn't specific to a character or the show, so I'm bringing it back. Why not? Um, today is a particularly busy Friday. Today is actually Friday, so I don't know when this is going to go up. Answer me a question. Do you prefer it when I film on the Friday and then post it on the Saturday or at the weekend? Or do you prefer me filming another day and posting it on the Friday? But then I feel like that's lying. Then I feel like that's not really Follow Me Friday. So, suddenly massive influx of people walking past me. Ugh. So I'm in London this morning for an audition and I'm going to have to switch arms because my arm is killing me. Oh. That is proof I've not vlogged enough recently. Um, and then I have my little wheelie case with me, right there, because then I'm going to Wolverhampton to see the Panto one last time, to see Oliver as Prince Harry. My audition is at 10.40, and it is currently, I think it was like five to 10 the last time I looked, so I'm so early, but hopefully that just means more time to prepare that script. Um, but my train isn't until 2.43, so my plan after my audition is to go to Euston Station and get some lunch. Also, I did the stupid thing of seeing the address of this place that I had to go to today. I went, oh, it's in Holborn. So I'll get off at Holborn. The nearest station is Chancery Lane. So I'm now on a casual 10 minute walk down the road. But this is why I'm early for everything, just in case stuff like this happens. So, wish me luck. Ah, uh, I'm in the lift in the audition building. Ah, ah. That went well, I think. Um, I can't complain for my first TV audition in quite a long time. Can't complain, it went okay. I'm now at Euston Station and I haven't eaten today and I've got about two hours, two and maybe almost three hours before I need to get my train to Wolverhampton so my sights are set on Leon. Yeah. Oh, I've just arrived in Wolverhampton. I didn't film anything on the train because I ended up going backwards and I felt slightly motion sick as I always do. Um, and there was a guy sitting next to me and a guy sitting opposite me and I felt a bit like, yeah, I don't want to get my camera out. Um, they also looked very judgy whilst I redid my makeup in order to look nice when I saw Oliver. They looked very, very judgy, so I thought, maybe I won't get my camera out. Piss them off even more. And now I'm just walking from the station with my new gloves. I bought gloves at uh, New Look for like a fiver because they were in the sale and I, because I don't own gloves. I don't own any gloves. I'm just walking from the station to stage door where Ollie's gonna meet me. Yay! Don't get run over, don't get run over, don't get run over. Oh. I am sat so ridiculously close. I've got my Prosecco. I'm here to have a good time at Wolverhampton Panto. On my own with no children. <laughs> Surrounded by parents with their kids looking at me like, is she actually here on her own? That's how close I am. I am so, so close. And here we are in the dressing room of Oliver Romson. Oh God. Oh wait. There you go. Hello everyone. <laughs> yes, it is me. <laughs> what are we saying? We just exchanged Christmas presents. What are these presents? What did I get you? They got me a DNA kit to see if the child is really mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said to find out like about my sisters and brothers gone by. What is it? Ancestry. <coughs> Keel set here, which has got is full of all sorts of goodies. It was all hand picked. Like yeah. it wasn't like just a a, a gift set. Look I picked it. them all out individually. It's got that moisturizer, nappy spray, <coughs> stuff like that. Like facial fuel, face wash. It's all very good. Yeah. Um, and then what else did I get? I got loads of stuff. I got like just like Jack Wells, Lynx, a little mic for a sing song. <laughs> yeah, it's good. What did I get you? you? Well, that's what I'm just trying to 
getting this. A big glowy donut. Well, first of all, gentlemen of the Sleeping Beauty Company, this is your half hour call. I need to leave. You have 30 minutes. I've got me gin. Oh, I got me some very nice gin. And then he got me, I can't really show you it. I'll show you it later. He got me a big like for vlogging. You should see it in use. I didn't film anything for the rest of my time in Wolverhampton because I haven't seen Ollie in just over a week. So we wanted to spend some quality time together, which involved getting a takeaway and watching Luther. I had a really good time with Oliver. Um, and then I got the train home today and it was my nan's birthday. So I went over and took her a cake and some presents and uh, spent a couple of hours at my nan's house with my parents as well, which was lovely. And then I came home and started to get to work on packing my flat, um, which is really hard. I'm trying to sort everything as I go because I don't want to end up taking a bunch of crap that I don't want to my new house. I want only stuff in boxes that I actually want and I'm gonna use. Um, and it's just a mammoth task. It's just really hard to sort out four years worth of stuff that's in this flat, but I'm powering through I will get there and I move into my house on Friday the 18th, which is so exciting. I think I said in a previous video that the whole house needs to be decorated because I think the house was built in the 70s and I don't think it has been decorated since then. Um, so it's gonna be, I mean, it's like a decade worth of work because I can't afford to redecorate the whole thing at once. So I'm just gonna have to do room by room and I don't know how long it's gonna, take me to get it how I want it, but I'm excited to make a start this year at least. I started off the year with something very exciting that I can't talk about right now, but I will be able to talk about it in the future, hopefully, as long as all goes according to plan, but I started 2019 off on a really good foot and I'm really happy with the way that this year looks like it's gonna pan out. More on that in the future. And I've got to a weird point now where I feel like even though I have a very unstable job in that once one contract ends, there's no guarantee that anything else is gonna come up and I might be out of work for the foreseeable future. It's a very sort of terrifying industry to work in as much as I love it. But I feel like for the last four or five years, I'd say, my life has been sort of like this massive emotional roller coaster. My brain's sort of been all over the place and I feel like I've got to a point now where I feel calm. Even though my life is madness, my life is very fast paced and my various different jobs are all quite unstable and throw me here and there and everywhere from year to year. I feel like me as a person has got to a point where I feel stable and I feel very secure in everything that I have and everything that I'm doing and all the choices I make and the way that I feel and think that may change because that's just the nature of being a human being. But going into 2019, that's how I feel. And it's probably the best I've ever felt when New Year's hit and I go into a new year. This is probably the healthiest physically and emotionally and mentally that I've ever felt going into a new year. So I feel like I'm in a really good place. So yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog there because I feel like I'm ending the vlog on a really good note. I hope 2019 is treating you guys just as well. And I'm gonna make more videos, I promise you I am. I am gonna make more videos. Um, I'm very excited to get into my new house and start making new videos there because I feel like I'm just sort of wiping the slate clean and it's just really exciting to have a new place to play. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Lots of love. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Mwah.